So how fast does a diagnosis of DM, how fast does that disease progress with the average patient? And it is individualized to each patient, but on average, we see a life expectancy between six to 12 months. We have shorter life expectancies if they're diagnosed at say stage three in the five stage process that I use. We know that they are now debilitated. There's more physical care that needs to be introduced and that disease progresses faster to stage four. If we diagnose them at stage one, we know we can slow down the progression of that disease and buy months of good quality of life for our patients. So we know that if we diagnose it early and we introduce a rehabilitation regime early on, we have really good chance to buy additional months of good quality of life. If the disease is diagnosed at stage two or stage three, we know that the life expectancy is a lot shorter because we can't slow down the progression of the disease quite as much as we can if it's early on in stage one or just starting to get to stage two. So on, on average, we see anything from 55 days to 250 days. That was the mean life expectancy from this great research paper that was just put out uh, last year. So with high amount of physical therapy, introduction of supplements and antioxidant regimes, we can slow down the progression of the disease, build muscle, keep movement, keep great quality of life, and get them to around 18 months of, of life expectancy after diagnosis. If we do nothing, we see on average around 55 days of life expectancy of quality of life before people decide to euthanize. This is the disease that they will not reach stage five. And stage five, where it's an ascending paralysis now, is affecting their diaphragm and they have trouble to breathe. Most people will opt to euthanize before that, usually around stage four, where they're now fecally, urinally incontinent. They can no longer use their hind limbs and it's starting to affect their front limbs, it is about the benchmark where people will euthanize. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what the time expectancy is, but usually it's anywhere from three months all the way through to 12 months to 18 months if we are really introducing a detailed, rigorous physiotherapy regime and we're getting the disease around the early stages of stage one.